All right, hey. Today we are doing the palindrome exercise. Pretty straightforward exercise. You need to see if a uh, number in its binary form when reversed is a palindrome. Um, well, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is create a is palindrome function that accepts i32, turns a boolean. All right. Now what I want what I want to do is because this is non-mutable, I'm gonna create a mutable one, and then I'll create a reversed one that starts at zero. Now the way I usually solve this type of problem is I use a bit shifting operation. So while n is greater than zero. So first thing we want to do is shift our reverse bits over by one. That way as we're making adjustments to the reverse, it's shifting that over to the left. Uh, next thing we want to do is another bitwise operation and or so whatever bits we already have. Uh, plus the or the bits of our current whatever n is n1. So if we have a bit, it's gonna be be ORed onto that first place. Uh, next we want to do is go ahead and shift over our n by one. So that'll drop off the, the least significant bit. Finally, uh, now that everything's there, all we have to do is make a comparison with the original value. So that reversed, as long as that's equal to x, then it is a palindrome. All right. Now let's go ahead and create some tests. So, right. actually, I don't think I did. Look here. Palindrome. Sir EQ. Now three would be one, right? Any power of two plus one will always be a palindrome, right? So like seventeen would be one. Right, okay. And then we would also expect the opposite case, right? So maybe eight or two. False, false, false. All right. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and start to our test, and it works. All right. It's a pretty straightforward exercise. It's really not that much to it. Uh, we ran some tests, used the bitwise operations here. Uh, one more thing though, you'll notice that in um, in Rust there actually is a reverse bits operation. So you can actually say X. Now here in a second you'll realize why this doesn't work. Because what will happen is this reverse bits operation will reverse all of the bits um, from least significant to most significant of those bits. So, and that includes zeros. So 32 bits is what we're actually shifting over. So the reason why this function will not work is because we're not, because it is including the uh, most significant bits, right? So if we said Right. Right, and then verse. Oops. Verse. Oops. Now you'll see why. Oops, that's not the same. counter test you can see that fails the reverse one for these actually huh, 
That was unexpected. Is not palindrome reverse. Oh, right. So this is not palindrome reverse. It's always going to be false because uh, you're shifting the, the, uh, the zeros. So, however, this is the one that we want it to be true. And as you can see, that one fails. So, something to look after. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.